Lisa D. Hart here, Three Minutes with the Main Guide, and I just recently got off a wonderful wilderness canoe trip, and I know I had a good time because my gear came back trashed. So I thought I would share with you some of the big uh, regular cleanup things that I do coming off a big canoe trip every time. So the first is my water bottle, okay? Um, cleaning these. I drink water on the river, but I also like to drink Gatorade. You sweat underneath that life jacket, it takes a lot out of you energy-wise. You gotta keep those electrolytes in you. But what it does is, it kind of makes up for a fuzzy water bottle. So, um, uh, same way that they clean the coffee stains out of those glass coffee pots in uh, restaurants. So, we're just gonna take, I flip the camera down, we're just gonna take some ice, we're gonna put it in the in the water bottle here. Dump a bunch of ice in there. This gets the you know how it's hard to clean this part, you know, get a, get a brush or anything up under there. Uh, so we're gonna throw this bunch of ice in there, and then same way they do the coffee pots, we're just gonna put some salt. We're just gonna take spoonfuls of salt. I like to do about three. This acts as the abrasive that actually cleans all the spots you can't see. So just some really nice, good scoops of salt in there. And then we're just gonna we're just gonna roll it around like that. And what the salt does is it gets rid of all that little kind of layer of mold in there that happens close yeah and it just so once i've done that i just dump it out i run a little bleach water through it and soapy water and bleach water and then it's good to go um next thing that i'm going to show you is uh the life jacket we all live in this we all know what this smells like looks like when it comes off of a canoe trip uh the mud and stuff on the outside i just take a a damp sponge to but the inside um you can kill all the biologicals and make it really nice uh with a simple trick so in just a spray bottle you're gonna take the cheapest vodka you can get look at your shoe look up to that shelf like six eight inches from your shoe that's the vodka you want okay the bottom bottom shelf stuff you're going to take equal parts of vodka and water you don't need any kind of a little um scent like orange or eucalyptus but if you want that go to the health food store and make sure it's food grade okay so you're gonna mix equal parts of vodka and water, and you're just gonna spray. You just spray the outside, give it a nice good coat, spray in the outside of the life jacket, every part that touched you, the straps, the everything. Will it smell a little bit like vodka? Yeah, it will, but when it dries, it will not smell like anything. This is how they protect vintage clothing so they don't have to dry clean it all the time, okay? Vodka, water, spray it down, hang it up, let it dry. I will guarantee you it kills all the biologicals, all the body odor, and when it dries, you won't smell any vodka at all. So that's the second tip. So the last thing I do is I just harvest a little bit of birch bark. I always take a stash like this on a river, just a Ziploc bag full of it. Makes it easier to start the fire in the morning, especially if you're dealing with any kind of a wet weather situation. And then I'll harvest it and then I'll just sit and I'll just peel the layers and fill the bag. So, that's the three big things that I do. Um, you take care of your gear and it'll take care of you. I'm Lisa D. Hart and you've just spent three minutes with a main guide.